This is a scrunch. It's kind of like a funky tool that was made to respond to a not so good design. But before I get into all that, let me just explain the scrunch. It is a screwdriver on one end and scrunches are usually flathead screwdrivers, but I've got a Phillips head scrunch. I think I've even got a star drive. Yeah, like a star drive scrunch. So it is a screwdriver on one side, hence the scr in the title. And then it is a wrench on the other side, but it's not really a wrench. It's more of a socket, but it's really two sockets of two different sizes. Uh, let's just go down this hole for a second. We've got a screwdriver on one side, then we've got two sockets on the other. And having measured all my different scrunches, I got way too many scrunches, it turns out they're all either 19 millimeter, 16 millimeter, or 13. So the scrunch is really a wacky combination of sockets, screwdrivers, we got a flathead, we got a Phillips, and we got a star drive. So the ultimate scrunch would actually include all this stuff. Pause the game for a second. Why do we need a scrunch? Plain and simple, the scrunch is a response to these bad boys, chainsaws. Chainsaws demand scrunches. So big boy chainsaws, small chainsaws, different brands, they all require these two tools to commingle at one moment. And that is the moment when you want to loosen up your bar and then tighten or loosen your chain. This is also where the different sized scrunches kick in. This little guy is the 13 millimeter. Big boy demands the 19. And even the old saws back in the day kind of worked the same way. This guy rocks the 16, so that's kind of like the middle size in scrunch land. And the chain tensioner on this one, it's not over here, but it's actually around this side. It's this bad boy, but it's still a flathead. All right, so, so far it is true that chainsaws require scrunches, but dang it, it just doesn't have to be that way. All right, now it might not be your favorite chainsaw, but this is one of these newfangled electric battery powered gizmos and no scrunch. You loosen the bar with this dude and then you tighten it or loosen it with this guy. In case you're thinking, oh, that's just like some off-brand saw, DeWalt, same deal, scrunch free. Loosen this guy up this way and then to tighten or loosen the bar, use this guy. Now the chainsaw purists among us are gonna say that these bad boys need a scrunch and the scrunch is actually a tighter, better system for bar management, better than these electric battery powered gizmos. But I still think it's true that the scrunch kind of responds to a wacky design. All right, but here's the real problem. Basically once in a while, and this doesn't happen all the time, but once in a while, if I'm climbing a tree with a new saw, or a saw with a brand new chain on it, new blade. What will happen is you get up in there, you make a few cuts, and that blade starts to stretch. And that's not a weird thing, that's just the way chainsaw chains work. They're made up of a bunch of links, and as they spin around and cut and go through the wood and everything, they kind of stretch out, and your saw needs just a wee bit, just a tad of adjusting. You are up in a tree and you need a scrunch. All right, now let me show you my gear setup. So what I started doing was fiddling with different ways to store a scrunch kind of on board my harness up in the tree. It kind of worked its way loose at one point. I wasn't too worried about this, but it wasn't like the best solution. It's just a little bit jaggedy. I try not to get that many injuries when I'm up there. I also did some kind of janky thing where I had it wedged in behind my first aid kit, but that scrunch actually fell out and I lost it. So I made the mistake of going on the interwebs and looking to see what other people are doing with their scrunches. Like I was wondering, does anybody have a scrunchified setup? Just a little mod for the scrunch 
to make it attachable to the harness. Uh, I just gotta decide which scrunch I'm gonna mess with. I think this is a 13, it's actually a little bit bigger. I think it's supposed to be a 13 and big sides a 19. So I like the idea of welding a little loop on here, but I'm wondering if I can't do something a little more kind of flexible. All right, scrunch, simple mod, complete. It might have been a mistake, I don't know, but I posted a picture to the interwebs pretty much saying, hey guys, what do you think about my modified scrunch? There were some who said, dang, nice idea, like it. But then, like with all things on the internet, there were some people worried about safety. It was like, dude, you are going to stab yourself with that thing. And it wasn't just people hating on my idea. They actually had some other pretty cool scrunch mods. So this part is okay. Kind of liking this. Got the wrench on the end. You can still get some torque on it by cranking the beaner. And you can get to both sides. So that's okay. I tried bending the screwdriver part of the scrunch. It ended up ugly. Kind of just awkward on the beaner. So aluminum. <laughs> Oh, this is getting a little bit weird. All right, the improvised screwdriver dealio bobber is uh, complete. Let's see if it actually works. Oh yeah. Let me try the steel. The steel's got a little bit of a funky hole. You can't necessarily get in there. And no. Sort of, kind of. Not perfectly. So while I like the one-of-a-kind look of this little dealy who, it's not really long enough as a screwdriver. It's more of a stubby and doesn't really get up into my steel uh, chainsaw. So let me see if I can go for one more iteration. There's gotta be something in here. We gotta test this on the steel just because it's got this deep hole. So this dude, no problem tightening and loosening. You can actually get a little extra leverage with the carabiner. Kind of crank it. But as for the actual bar connection, oh yeah. 
which is in there really nice. At this point, I think it needs a new home. Kind of like a bigger, funkier beaner. More space. At the oh. oh, that's good. I like the way that fits. Now, I've made this mistake before, and I regretted it, but I'm going to put this little dude on the interwebs. All right, now we've got two modified scrunches. We got the long and deadly, and we got the short and stubby. So that is the story of how a specialty tool became a little bit more special so it could be used in a tree. Definitely not a how-to video. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it, but it's just a story of how I messed with the scrunch.